Okay, so this piece uh, is called Flash Glass, and it's red. And I basically put a sheet of resist over it, which is any kind of plastic contact paper. And uh, cut out all the paper you don't want to use, and then sandblast over it. And at this point, I'm still removing the contact paper. So you can see what's underneath the contact paper, and see how well you cut it out. So there's some lettering, and then I'll just overlay the black on top of it to make the complete piece. It's almost like a printing process where you would print red and then print black over it. Then after this I'll just trim it and I'll put copper foil around it. So this is the piece that's named Saint Bunty. And this is the bottom layer, which is total flash glass. It's a blue flash glass. This side is the textured side. And then the next layer is just clear glass with a black enamel painted on top. And then the next layer is also clear glass, and it's yellow enamel and black enamel painted on top. So if you get it aligned properly, everything should match. And you see the portrait of Bunty, which I based on some photographs that I took of her. And it's a bit of landscape of like Sir, and since she is a TV star, I put a TV set in there. Okay, so this is a uh, installation here at the school in the window of the men's room laboratory. Uh, this was the a comp that I did to show Peter, uh, which I did in Photoshop, combining the design with the actual photo from the men's room. And here is part of the final piece. So this is uh, sandblasted and hand painted. I the image is a muscle man from the 1940s and the type I basically did in a, a program called InDesign and hand cut all of the type and sandblasted it. I, the left side of the window is the same idea so it just continues and it shows more of the type, same men, and it reads from both sides of the window since you actually see the window from the inside and the outside. Next we have a, one of the portraits that I did of people in town. And this is a Gail who works in the post office and her family. And it's using flash glass in different colors and just hand painted illustrations from the beautiful landscape here in Leipzig. And next, I have a 
panel, it's a window panel, which also uses some of the landscapes here in Leipster. And this is a more decorative piece. I, I wanted to have most of it clear so you can see outside of your window and just add little touches of color and a very fine illustration. Next we have, this piece is called Candy People and it is of Eileen and Eric who run one of the stores in town that sells candy and it sells a bunch of other things. Uh, it's basically a grocery store. And I took photos of them and then redrew them and just put them in this very abstract setting with candy floating around them. This is the original sketch of David and I actually went in and talked to him and got all this information from him. I like what other jobs he, he would be doing if he wasn't a butcher and he said he would love to be a car salesman. <laughs> so I found out a lot about him and his family. So after I did that sketch I went on to this because I saw in his store he had a big cleaver and originally it was just him and the cleaver, but I, I went in and I saw there was also a big saw for cutting the meat with. So I thought that was a nice balance. I, so this is the main sketch I used uh, to, Let me just to work out the larger piece. And I worked on the colors from this one and just, just different notes around it of a different ideas. Originally I was going to do mountains in the background, but you'll see that changed. Then I actually took some photos of Dave and these were, this is my second choice, but the first choice was this one of him looking out his shop window. I just really loved the light and you got to see his hat really clearly and I think that's his signature. You'll notice this is reversed because you paint on the back of the glass. So from this step, I actually did a drawing, an outline, I, and then did it on the other side so I could I, sort of figure out where the shading was going. And that fit into this drawing, which I did actually before I went into the store. So this was what we call a cartoon for the final piece. You get all the measurements precisely from this. And then after I did the cartoon, I had to work on the type. So I did that on tracing paper, because again, you have to work from the other side. So I had to actually paint it that way. And then it all came together like this. <laughs> 